Hey guys and welcome to another episode of 7 Days to Die. So quite a few things happened offline. Uh, my friend Boscos and I went to the towns up here. Um, and we did a... I just want to see which town it was again. This one over here. We did a Red Mesa facility over there. And over there. And it actually went quite well. Uh, the reason I say this is I got compressed fuel, which is quite expensive. It's for a flamethrower. And a mini nuke. So that's pretty awesome. Um, but there was a little bit of bad luck. Yep, there was a little bit of bad luck because um, on the way back I kind of died. I'll explain how that happened now. Just three of them. Hmm. Okay, so on the way back, um, it, it was actually a very bullshit kind of death. What I mean by that is I took a ramp. Well, I was going pretty fast with the new bike, but it was just a drop like this. And my health went from 80 to 0. <laughs> it was instant death on drop. So I think I was just going too fast and momentum killed me or it was some kind of bug or something. But that was really crappy. It was on the way back and I died about there. So I had to run all the way back just to fetch my stuff. And it was uh, against the hill so <laughs> I had to search for my mini bike at night. Okay so, um, oh yeah, uh, as you guys can see over here we have a few quests done. I also went and fetched three treasure maps. And our fishing quest is almost done, we just need to gather fish. Now I went fishing before and didn't accomplish anything because I didn't know how. I actually struggled a few <laughs> hours. But what you basically do is you have to have um, uh, worms on you and then also a lure. So the lure lock, uh, brings fish to you and then the uh, worms are is the obvious food for the fish. So what you do is you go to a lake and when it says good uh, this is a good place uh, to fish, you press R to load it like a gun and then it's in the water. As soon as it starts moving about, you press left click, and if you caught something, right click. It took me quite a few hours to actually figure that out. Also, you guys saw outside I have box traps, and I have a nice supply of chickens and... Ah, oh, nice. Of chickens and rabbits over here. Now, as you guys know before, I tried... When we were still at the hotel, I tried doing this box trap thing, but it kept saying that my... I did this. I had it on me, and it said that I don't have enough grain. Oh, wheat grain, but if you do this and then go to the boxes, all of a sudden it works. You just say, well, these are all still set, so I can't do anything here. Uh, you just basically look for the one that says reset or whatever, yeah, like this, reset trap, and press E again. But if you have it on you, it'll say that you don't have enough, so I don't know if that's just a bug or what that is. As you guys can see, <laughs> uh, this is a quite a bit of damage that I got here because of a wandering horde. I actually got two wandering hordes. Also, at one of the Red Mesa facilities, my friend and I did a horde together, a uh, feral horde. And then, on the next horde, I went back to the gas station over here. That gas station is now useless, I can't use it again. If I use it again, that thing's gonna cave in on me. Okay, so what I wanna do this episode is, I'm gonna craft a weapon, just wanna see what that's called. Smith Station. Is it this? Whip yeah, no, the weapon workbench. I wanna make this, and also the... Oh, the reason I want to make that, guys, is there are no schematics for guns. You need to have this and then make this inside, and then you're able to assemble and repair and stuff. So you can't do it on the run anymore. You have to wait until you're back at the base to repair your guns and stuff like that. Okay, so let's just quickly put a few things away and get started. I think I'm going to go fishing again after this episode and see if I'm lucky. Okay, so it said we need springs, uh, mechanical parts, forge, iron... Ooh, we don't have enough. Mechanical parts over there, and then what else? Okay, and wood. We need the science workstation, so we need to craft these. Um, I have to make more forged iron. Let's see, let's make 50, just so we know we have enough, and then do this. Okay. Ooh, we hit a kind of a snag over here. I oh, know, we do have beakers, awesome. Okay, so we can still make that piece. Uh, one cooking pot, 20 nails. I'm just gathering all the resources required for the three pieces of the science station. Okay, so now we should have enough for all the pieces. Uh, craft this, craft this. We need a little bit more of the forged iron. Um, let's just do this quickly from the top. Two, three. Okay. So with that we'll be able to craft the med station, the science station. Uh, I think we have one of these somewhere. I think that's like the kind of a tool and die set or whatever for the science station. 
The weapon workbench, I'm going to put on this side. Um, the bike is taking a ramp over Yeah, I'll have to move the ramp. Or just do this. Like so. Okay, so, I want to show you guys this. We do have paper on us. What you do is you go here. You craft one of these. Put it on you, and then you're able to actually go and assemble and repair your stuff. You need one of these. If you don't have it... Uh, I should see... Oh, I wonder if it's because I crafted this now. Usually it doesn't allow you to assemble. I went to my friend's base and it doesn't. It didn't show this until I made this. Anyways, so now I'll be able to assemble all my guns and actually make proper weapons. Can't wait. Uh, these are going to take a while. Let's just put a few things away. Okay, and what I want to do this episode is quickly finish the upgrades. And then also put this up. I should have enough reinforced concrete to make this reinf or concrete mix to make this reinforced and then upgrade the last bit over here. And then voila, we have a defense. We just need some spikes now because the screamers do come quite often for my three forges that I have over there and the two mixers. Also guys, now that I'm making these uh, stations, I almost forgot, I want to make a moonshine station as well so I can do the gas thing. But I need two more gauges. I don't know if you can craft, let's just quick check, gauge. Uh, no, not go here. <laughs> Cage. Is it spelled the other way? No. Okay, so we definitely need to find two more gauges. I just don't know where to find those. I don't know if you find that from dismantling cars and trucks and stuff, or if it's just random. Also, I'll need to find myself some more bread and stuff, uh, moldy bread, which I need to make more fish lures. I, I, I'm so mad at myself for using that last lure before actually figuring out how to fish. Now, always remember guys, don't try and figure it out on your own. Just do this. Uh, no, where was it? Oh. Skills, quests, fishing. It tells you how to fish. I can't believe I didn't uh, read this first before even trying. It was such a waste. Okay, so from this side we can quickly upgrade it like this. How many of you guys actually play this mod? And how many of you guys are on a console and can't do it just because you're console? Because this is one heck of a mod. This is so fun to play. It's unfortunate for those of you that have consoles, they can't mod. I just decided I need all these workstations. I thought there were quests and stuff, so I, I put it all for a while. And then my friend told me, no, there's no quest for these, so you can make it. So now we'll be able to do way more, especially with a gun. What do you call this again? Weapon workbench. Especially with a weapon workbench, we'll be able to do so much more in game. I just want to figure out how to use the mini nuke and what the range on it is. So I don't actually want to blow myself up. Okay, let's just do this. Uh, get some iron so it's just a closed door. At least we have a ton of iron so we don't have to worry about that. I'll also have to make myself some new claims. Let's just see. One, two, three, four... Five, six. So the new one will be over here, roundabout. And then the next ones will be outside. But I'll have to place them underground because if a cop explodes on them, it's going to destroy them. Because unfortunately, the claims are not that strong. Well, they're 8,000 health, but not that strong. Okay, let's just quickly finish this. Okay, so medical. So, uh, no, I keep saying medical, it's science. Science workstation craft, and then where did I put that set? I could have sworn that I have a medical set. Is it in my... I wonder if it's in my fridge. So <laughs> I put a lot of my medical stuff in here. Let's see, let's see, let's see. Please tell me I have it. Please tell me I didn't throw it away or do something stupid with it. I just have to look through slowly because sometimes my eyes jump around. Like last night, I struggled to fall asleep just because I could f actually feel... Ah, here it is. Medical science set. I could actually feel my eyes jumping around underneath my eyelids. Uh, it's really disturbing. <laughs> okay, so science medical station. Also, guys, we need to make a pig pen and stuff as well. Just need to figure out where that's gonna go. I could put it here in the corner on this side since this doesn't have anything, but I actually want to use this as storage. Or perhaps I'll make my storage in here. I just have to make the walls and the roof strong enough so it doesn't cave in. Okay, so medical set, and that goes in there. Uh, we do have. What's this? I don't know what that is, but I do know we have the medical, I think I put it on the tools, it's medical scissors I think, I don't know what it's called exactly, 
here you go. Medical says, yeah. Okay, and then this is just shears. Still, I want to figure out what the other thing is because we could, perhaps we're going to need that one. Okay, so we still have a ton of stuff to make, guys, like the ba uh, gas digester and the moonshine and the gas tank. There's a ton of stuff we still have to make in this game. There's also a ceramic thing that you can make glass and stuff with. Okay, um, let's just put everything else away for now. As you can see, we still have a ton of concrete mix, so what I think I'm going to do... I just don't know if I'm going to be able to stream or not. I hope I can. Because if I can stream, then we can replace this floor, make a floor outside, do the spikes and everything. Just get some defenses up. So at the moment, we're so defenseless. And then this, I might have to do from the bottom now. I think it's just going to be faster. Advanced rotation, get it to the top. Yeah, this is going to be faster from the bottom. Please don't hurt yourself now. And drop. Okay. So, if we do this, we'll just be able to walk in place. Instead of having to aim from the top. Except, obviously, if we do stuff like this. We just have to be careful not to place one underneath. Especially if I hold the mouse button too long. A lot of things in game, like placing a block and stuff, is a lot of uh, rhythm that involved. You just have to find the right rhythm. If you're too slow with the rhythm, then you place too many blocks or waste blocks. I'll definitely have to move this back now. Because if I don't move that back, the zombies will be able to get in. Now, actually, at the moment, if you run without this iron, these iron bars here, yeah? if you run up here, just, just fall short. But now with that there, they're going to get in. I'm just glad this episode is as clear as day. Because, I mean, last episode, we struggled with the rain. I'm just glad you guys didn't dislike that video. Also, guys, I just want to take the time to say thank you for your support in my videos. I actually thought, <laughs> I, I considered giving up on YouTube because my subs are, go are growing too slow. And, well, I just said to myself, okay, the next Google AdSense payout, that's when I'll stop. And now my subs are coming along nicely, so there's no way I'm going to stop now. I'm actually hoping to get my turrets and stuff up as soon as possible. I'm going to put four, like last time, or like with a few builds ago, I'm going to put four turrets, one in each corner, and then auto turrets pointing in. So that the auto turret aims all the way to there and all the way to there, aiming, uh, getting two sides. So at each given time, any given time, two turrets will be on one side, or on the zombies. Because if the zombies are there, that turret's going to cover this side, and this turret's going to cover that side. And then perhaps I'm going to make a kind of a ramp so the zombies fall in, and then inside the ramp I'm going to make shotgun turrets. The only problem with that is, like I said, it'll be have to be a little bit high so it aims at the floor. Because if it aims there and I'm standing there, it can actually shoot me. Which is not a pleasant experience. I mean, I've experienced where a bug where the shotgun thinks you're an enemy and fires at you. The whole game bugs out and crashes. I'm just so tired. Uh, as you, most of you know, I'm a swimming instructor, and now I'm busy making certificates for all the swimmers. And <laughs> it's a lot of work. You first have to evaluate the kids, and then some of them get a, a quite a few certificates. Aw, oh, damn it, that was a waste. That would be one short. Uh, some of them is getting quite a few certificates, so you have to print that, or actually put their names in the certificates. Print those, uh, cut them, and then laminate them and cut them again. And with quite a few swimmers, that's actually a very big task. Oh, come on. I'm starting to get sloppy now. And I think that's why I struggled to sleep yesterday, because it was so weird. When I try and relax my eyes, it feels like it's jumping around my head. But then again, my mother actually worries that... Ooh, quite a few shorts. I'll have to count this out quickly. My mother actually worries that I might have a depression and now also sugar sickness, so... I'll have to go to the doctor to check all of that out. One, two, three, four. I think it's 26. I lost count lot by the last one, which is a bad thing. I can't believe these are... Oh no, just the one. I thought they were spawning already. Okay, so I just need to keep an eye on these box traps, but some of them look bugged. Okay, check and reset. Some of them do this, but they're actually like this. And then some of them are closed, and they're actually closed. Um... I'm just going to check it. I'm not going to reset it yet. I want to reset everyone together. See, like, I oh know, but that one's because of that. Also, guys, as you can see, I put the uh, plates over here so that I can actually drive through and make this ramp. You know, I don't want to accidentally uh, drive over this and then set it off. 
Okay, so what did I get? Four rabbits, one chicken. Only one. I don't want too many rabbits. Okay, so I'll have to move this back. I should actually do that now. You just know when I forget about it. Okay, so I don't know how this works. Do they eat their own feed? Do you have to feed them? Let's see. Nope. Okay, so I think this is right. This is how it's supposed to work. It just doesn't look right. Okay, so I just want to check that I have all my cooldown stuff on me. As you guys can see, I'm starting to overheat over here. Even though I don't need it right now, it's always easier to split up than you know it finishes. Okay, put the paper away. I'm um, off camera, guys. I'm gonna go and I'm gonna assemble all these guns and make better crossbows and stuff. Because I want to make a spare crossbow over here for if I die. This actually came in handy when I died um, off camera. So I could take this, just make a few more arrows over here, and then go. I just have to make sure to keep feathers in here always so that I know that I have ammo. Okay, so I'm going to put a few things away. I still want to make myself a farm, but I just don't know where I'm going to put it. Because on the one hand, the pigs should be near the farm. On the other hand, I want the pigs inside my base. I'm thinking of actually using the gas station as the farm since it's almost destroyed. It will actually be easy converting that since there's only a few pillars left. Okay, so we don't have any gas over here left. Medical station. Oh, also want to show you guys this. Um... There was there were wall breakers in the uh, Raid Mesa facilities, and then also doctors or nurses, whatever. But the one, where is that thing? Oh, I think it's in here. One of them actually dropped something really awesome. One of the doctors, red mushroom injection. So now, if I get only minus one hydration, it removes dysentery, flu, flu, snake bites, severe snake bites, spider bite, food poisoning, infection, infection, infection and red syringe buff 100% so I don't know if it uh, also cures yeah uh, it should cure radiation okay anyways I, f I got that so that's awesome I think well, uh, let's just while there's still time left let's go do some looting because there's still a few more buildings that are left to do anyways so why not gonna put a few things away so it doesn't get in our way okay and then over here I still have a few things to sell but I'll hold off on that okay let's go when we come back we need to destroy these two iron bars and then also move that ramp how far away did that fall you know what let's quickly go fetch this there might be a trap spawn but at least that'll give us some action for those of you who don't know what I'm talking about, sometimes it's a trap and you open it, zombies spawn, like wall breakers and bosses and stuff. Sometimes there's way too many wild animals over here. Oh, lag. Laggity lag. Okay, now where's that box? Over there. I don't want to get too close to it yet. I first need to kill all these wild animals. See, two more. Alright, I'm going to have to kill some of you. Is it still seeing me? Nope. Okay, so that one first. There's one over here. Also a bit of meat, so I should actually go pick them up. Just be careful of the two on the other side as well. I don't think those two followed us. Just need to ca be careful of the snakes as well. Yesterday a running ward came after me and it sucked mostly because there were snakes and tigers and stuff around as well. Whoops, hello. Just quickly kill this thing, if I can. It's not always easy to hit those. <laughs> okay. So let's hold our thumbs and hope for the best. Nothing spawned. Okay. Saved us a little bit of time, so now we can go looting. See, I desperately want to start streaming again, especially so we can do these towers. Um, the only problem really being, look at the lag I'm getting in game. And this lag is mostly due to the fact that I... Wait, were we there? No, we weren't. Okay. It's mostly due to the fact that I only have 8 gig RAM, guys. I haven't gotten that special yet. I'm still looking for a special 4 RAM so that I can get that RAM stick. I'm in desperate need of some RAM. Okay, so, we know this, we know this, let's just go in. Put off the light. Hello, hello, hello. Just like that.
always be careful when entering these places because sometimes, especially in starvation mode, the zombies sense you even though they're not supposed to. Bullseye! Sometimes they stand up so fast you don't know where to aim. Okay, so, oil shot. I just want to see, uh, see something over here. This is a purple, this is a purple. Block damage, 202. Block damage, 202. But well, this one's already half durability, half quality. Okay, so, just going to be really careful of the zombies. Especially since they come from neighboring roofs. It's actually nice to, if you're clearing it out while. So, killing zombies and looting at the same time, you can actually jump the roof to the next one and work your way down. So, on the one building you work up, other building you work down. The only problem there is sometimes you forget which one you did because you didn't enter from the bottom. Then again, you do leave from the bottom, so it's all the same. Oh, a chick to the left. This just came out of nowhere. Okay, now we can. Well, it should be safe to put a light on now. Although that one spawned a little bit late, so it might just happen again. I wonder if it's possible to find, uh, like, radiation stuff in the medical centers. It should be, right? I mean, it's medical. It's supposed to cure you. And this is only in the Red Mesa facility, since that deals with radiation and the government and stuff. I'm actually debating whether it's or not to get the fast eddy per uh, perk. So as you guys know, with a fast eddy perk, you can loot a lot faster. And I do have the skill points. I just don't know if it's worth it. Because there's four levels. Um, which wins this? It's scavenging 60, so that's quite a bit away. Let's just get this one. It might not be worth it, but it's just going to increase our looting skill a little bit. So it's almost instant now. First drop off, then the next building. On the one hand, I know these buildings aren't that worth it, so you could just as well skip them. But sometimes you find some pretty awesome stuff in there, so it's always worth a look. We just put everything we're going to keep in there. Uh, we're full on that. Let's just do this. Full on those, and scrap, scrap, drop, drop. Okay, let's go. Oh, that's uh, brass, so we can take apart all the lights in there. Or we should be able to. Sometimes, even though the faucets, uh, fa no, even though the lights are brass, the faucets and stuff aren't. So we just need to check that out. Feels so weird one-shotting these. It's nice having a proper quality tool on you. I love it. I think it was worth it in the end. It's almost like an insta open. Just hope you guys can see properly because I do not want to turn on the light and then the zombies see me easier. I could put the gamma up, but then we go when we go outside, it, the lighting will irritate your eyes. Oh shit! Whoops! Damn it! Sometimes I just miss by like a centimeter or millimeter. And a little bit of lag is not helping. Oh, she actually walked into that one. Awesome. You need to be careful so they don't come from there. Okay, so this looks clear. Let's quickly loot. Oh, got a fright. I think that's a wandering horde. Let's see. Oh, she's outside. How did she get there? Oh wow, mutual hit. Okay, that one's on the roof. <laughs> she and I hit each other at the same time. Okay, I can actually drop this. The rubber I can keep because we'll need that later. Uh, phone we don't need, scrap and drink. That was actually too close for comfort. Oh, I said look at the lighting. Let's see. See, even though the outside was brass, the inside isn't. It's also damn difficult hitting these runners, especially those that weave like this. Okay, only one on this side. Uh, well, we, let's just quickly loot because we're gonna go up on that side. Remember guys, if I'm looting and I skip, uh, skip around, it just means that I didn't find anything interesting. If I do find something interesting, then I'll usually have it on camera. Ooh, I need to check something. Always remember, in this place you have to check on top of these as well. 
Because sometimes they sleep on you. Not always, but the, when they do, <laughs> it's a big surprise. Um, we need to start a farm. Desperately need to start a farm, but I keep forgetting about it. Okay, on the roof, now there might be some runners, so I'm just gonna run up. Hello, you didn't see me? Oh, you did see me. A little bit late. Now, this was definitely not the last one, so we should be able to jump. Ooh, um, let's just make some space over here. Scrap, scrap, throw, scrap. Oops, four. See, now we can get to this roof from this building. And the nice part is, now that the roof's empty, it means most of the zombies are inside. Okay, so the flea, or the fly, I keep seeing fleas. The fly animation is back. Ooh, hello. I, even, I can't even see it properly because of all the flies. But at one stage, the animation for the flies were, was gone. You could hear the flies, but not see them. I'm just waiting for the day when a zombie is actually sitting on the toilet. <laughs> That'd actually be cool. And from now on, I can actually throw away the human turd and not worry because the rabbits are going to give it to me. Okay, so I dropped that thing so I can pick this up. Now I'll just scrap that and grab those. Should just be careful because my level is getting up there. So one of these days there are going to be cops and radiators and stuff inside these buildings. And when that day arrives, I need to be super ready. Okay, so there are no zombies in here that I can see. You guys agree? Mm. Not that I can hear you. actually take apart all these chairs for the leather. At the moment I don't need the leather so I'm not gonna do that now. No zombie, put on the lights. Finally. Okay, let's see what this has. Oops, nothing. I always get crap from these, I don't know why. I always expect more or better. Um, goldenrod, I think we have at the base. How much is this? Okay, so... That is all for this place, it seems. Oops, no, 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 no. Oh, we didn't loot those. Huh, John, you idiot. There's a ton of drinks and stuff in here. We especially need water. So I'm very lazy, as you guys know, so I'm too lazy to cook up water. We do have the dirty water. But I'm just too lazy to cook that, so I'll rather get these and then have clean water. But now we need space again. This is 200. This is 400. I know that I could just as well drop a few things on the bike and then come loot again. But I want to clear this place now. Like so. And splint. We don't really need... Oh, we have a lot of plastic at home. Okay, so I think I'm just going to call it an episode Yeah, But before I do, I'm going to show you guys what that uh, person gas looks like. So I think house is over there, let's quickly go. You know, off camera I need to come back and then wrench all these cars. I want to wrench all the cars in the place and also get all the tires on the floor. <laughs> From over there I thought, what the hell? But as you guys can see, this is what it looks like now. I think I should be able to do one more horde or two more hordes in here if I'm lucky. Because all you need to do is take out their legs and arms, or one leg and then take both arms. And they can't do any damage really. But I took out all the gravel over here, that's why I had sand for more concrete mix, and this wall is barely standing. So I I don't think I will be able to do another wall, perhaps one year. But if I stand here and I break that over there, this whole side is going to cave. Especially if this corner goes. Anyway, so I'm going to use this as a farm, guys. Um, this over here. I want to cave that in so it's flat, or who knows, perhaps repair it for myself. And then over here I want to make a farm with turrets and stuff to protect against rats. I know you do get the rat propelling sound stuff, but that doesn't always work. And if you get that, you should have a solar bank or something so you don't run out of power. Guys, yeah, so I'm just going to call it the episode here. If you guys like this episode, please have a like and share with your friend. Any comments or tips or feedback for me, leave that down below. And if you guys are new to this channel, please remember to hit the subscribe button for more of this content. See you guys next time.